Hello everybody, welcome, thank you for joining me here. This is an introduction to abstract mathematics, lecture one, overview. My name is Ruben, my pronouns are they, them, and if you're here, you must know that this is Ruben Maths. I have a second channel dedicated to my work as a conductor, that is Ruben Conducts. Please go subscribe if you are interested. I won't be offended if not. So let's begin with understanding one question. What is the purpose of mathematics? Depending on who you are, you may have many different answers to this question. But I propose to think of this very broadly as one answer. To understand logical truth. This means that mathematics subsumes much of computer science, statistics, some music theory, and many others. Certainly, it will subsume the mathematics that you know of, perhaps. Calculus, trigonometry, geometry, and so forth. My philosophical viewpoint is that whenever it is possible to discuss logical truth, It is math. So what do I mean by logical truth? There are many different kinds of truths. You can have experimental truth. Which is verified by experiment. Verified, I'll say, up to statistical significance. You can have, let's call this personal truth, verified by internal feelings, and then logical truth. verified by 
irrefutable proof. When I say irrefutable, I mean not that there are so many examples that it's statistically significant, but that there is an airtight argument. Airtight argument for something to hold. Very few experimental sciences end up having irrefutable proof of certain things. Now, that doesn't mean they're not true. It just means they are not logically true in the same way. So, this logical truth that I introduced is a pretty broad and somewhat vague concept, even if it has a fairly concrete definition. So, in order to study logical truth, we break things down into different fields. In this series, I guess I'll call a class, we will familiarize ourselves with those aspects of mathematics that will be maximally applicable to other aspects of mathematics. This will show you one thing that I often have to explain to some other people when I'm doing math or when I'm telling them about the math research that I've done. People ask, well, what is this good for? And I say, well, it's good for other math. And, and that's often the best answer that I can come up with at the moment. That is not to say that the math will never be applicable to other things. There are beautiful and, and phenomenal applications of very abstract mathematics to questions in biology and physics and computer science that end up having real-world advantages and real-world applications. But that's not what we're, what we're going to be studying here. Here we're going to be studying mathematics for its own sake. I find that particularly beautiful, but I'm not going to make the moral claim that it is better or worse than any kind of application, it's just its own thing. So, we will be familiarizing ourselves with those aspects of mathematics that will be maximally applicable to other mathematics. So, well, this word maximally applicable, to be fair, that's my own judgment. I can't logically prove for you that what we do will be maximally applicable to other mathematics, but I think most people will agree, at least to some extent, with my choice of topics. The series may grow far, far beyond what I'm planning at the moment, but here's how, how we're going to start. We'll spend some time talking about sets, functions, operations on sets, and, and more. This is sort of the foundation. of the other math that we will end up doing. Everything we do will be built on sets and functions in some way. That is not strictly a necessity. There are ways to develop foundations of mathematics that aren't set theory, but that's not what we'll be focusing on right now. Perhaps given enough interest, we can try and do a little bit of a lecture series on alternative foundations, 
but I'm not particularly knowledgeable in that yet, so I'll hold off for now. We'll then start talking about structures on sets. Morphisms of structures. Important examples. Here we'll give a little bit of a brief detour into the world of category theory. This is a personal favorite topic of mine. Some may disagree with placing it this early in an introductory course, but it's something that we'll return to as we learn more. Next, we'll specialize from structures, specialize into specific structures dealing with abstract algebra. Abstract algebra is roughly the math of formal properties of counting systems. This will allow us as well to talk a little bit about some elementary number theory. We'll then start talking about shapes, various kinds of geometries. The first one being real analysis. and metric topology. For those of you familiar with calculus, this will axiomatize calculus. We'll then expand that a little bit to talk about topology more generally. Time permitting, we may end up bringing some abstract algebra into topology. Importantly, I want to cover things that you want me to cover. So please leave comments. Please leave comments about what you would like to learn. Before we end this video, I would like to give a little bit of a general idea of how this, how this course will work. Each lecture will begin with a list of takeaways.
These are meant to help orient you. Orient you as you go through the rest of the lecture. Next, we go through the lecture. Every so often, I will bring up a problem. Problems will be highlighted in blue. When a problem is up, you may wish to pause the video and take the time to try and solve it yourself. I will then go through the solution. I may choose to relegate complicated proofs to the end of the lecture. I will do my best not to omit. And also, in the video description, I will leave resources to help you learn alongside these lectures. That about wraps it up for this introductory video. If you'd like to support this channel, which will remain free to everyone and ad-free, please consider buying me a coffee. At www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Ruben Stern. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope to see you soon next time.